digital imagery. You can see here a sample of the pictures taken from our test field that uh, have uh, the perspective projection and the closer they are to the uh, to the ground to the depicted object the more we see the perspective uh, and the weak perspective is when you will uh, see the center almost in infinity which is definitely not the case of the uad uh, capture data and here you have how does it look like on the vehicle on the ux5 that we've seen last week where is the camera mounted on the belly of the uh, vehicle. How do we actually know where the photo was uh, taken? What's the location of the photo in order to make it um, uh, georeferenced? Uh, geotagging a photograph, it's the process of associating a photo with its geographical location. It's latitude, longitude, and almost always also altitude. You know it probably taking the photos from if you, with your uh, with your cell phone that you can see on the map when the, when the picture was taken because the pictures are already ge geotagged by the GPS that is in your phone. So in theory, every single part of a picture can be tied to a geographic location, uh, but in most typical application, only the position of the sensor is associated with the entire image. So if you're taking a, a photo of yourself or your, mm, your, uh, the building, the geotagged picture is where you are standing, not where the building is standing or the object that you are taking a picture of. It is not really important with um, taking pictures from your, uh, on your phone when you travel, but when it comes to the really, really fine scale uh, with the um, UAS imagery, it is important to have the exact location of every single point of on the photo. Additionally, there is a challenge because the GPS in the camera or the UAS measures the location with very low accuracy. It's because it is in the air uh, when the uh, shutter trigger triggers only for uh, a fraction of a second. So it's not enough time to estimate the exact location. So the geotagging, it's assigning the geotag, so the position of the sensor of the camera with in in the picture uh, in the picture and you'll see this point on the ground has assigned is seen on the photograph uh, in this place and there is an uh, assigned latitude longitude and altitude where is the problem in that the problem is that the latitude longitude and altitude of the point is not the same as the latitude altitude and uh, longitude of the sensor so if we would like to make an orthophoto or uh, change it to orthogonal projection, what will be the, the accurate position of this point? Would it be the latitude and longitude of the geotag or the one of the actual point? It's where uh, the solution comes in, ground control points. First, I'm going to ex ex uh, explain what they are. There are targets in, on the ground, in the project area, that we already measured three coordinates, latitude, longitude, altitude, or X, Y, Z, if we are working in a different uh, system. There need to be accurate, accurate well-placed, and marked, and there are essential elements for modern accuracy and georeferencing. We can do it two ways. One, we can find on the ground uh, any feature that will be easy recognizable and specific, like corners uh, that will not be movable through our, uh, through our mission and not covered by vegetation and easily visible from the photographs. And, and then we can survey them, so measure the um, measure the uh, the coordinates 
either before or after the mission because th these objects will still be there. Here are, here, are, uh, here is our test site, and you can see here the digital uh, surface model and also the location of our uh, ground control points. We use the pre-marked panels. So uh, the marking and paving figures are symbols on the ground that were placed before the UAS flies. And it's usually in the shape of the cross, so it will the center will be really re re easily recognized on the photos. And the target is centered over the survey monument if you are taking multiple missions, or you can measure it each time when you will uh, when uh, before the, the UAS mission. And here is a picture of one of our targets. This is the circle one that uh, all also um, helps to identify exactly the point of the location of the measurements. Why do we use these ground control points? Because we want to not only orient the picture relatively to each other, but we also want to know their absolute location. So where are they actually uh, in relation to the datum. It's necessary for georeferencing if the photos are not geotagged. So if we don't have any information about the photos, it's necessary to, uh, to ge in order to georeference it and scale the model. It also, they also improve the precision of the model because the accuracy of the measuring GPS is much, much better than the low accuracy of the, uh, of the tags on the, uh, on the GPS on the vehicle. They're also important for quality control. We're going to talk about it later once we process the data and we will see our uh, errors and our uh, ground control points and checkpoints. Uh, here, the, the same picture before. So what do we what do we do to actually have here instead of the geotagged latitude, longitude, and altitude the actual uh, the one that is um, that has the point on the surface? We can put the GCP that will be visible on the on the photograph, measure its exact location, latitude, longitude, and altitude, and in relation to them assign the latitude, calculate the latitude, longitude, and altitude of the photographed point on the surface. As you can see, these uh, measurements are making made with low accuracy. These are made with high accuracy. And uh, the actual latitude and longitude of the relating point is calculated in the process that we're going to describe uh, soon.